What up guys, welcome to the sixth annual Barbell Brigade Open Powerlifting Meet and I am so excited to be here to support all the lifters. Can you believe this is our sixth year? I remember back um, in early 2013 when I did my first powerlifting meet, which is, oh my God, nine years ago. The meets were so small, even the big ones, even the national size meets, there would only be like maybe like 50 people. And now even a small like starting meet like this is much bigger than one of those national level meets. And it's crazy how big powerlifting has grown. So I'm here at 7 a.m. before the meet starts and I wanna give you guys a lay of the land. So all of these chairs right here, that's for all the spectators. The lifters will be on that platform slash stage right there. And when you come up to lift, whether it's the squat, bench, deadlift, you have the loaders putting on your weight. And then you have to look at that screen up there to see if you make the lift. So it could be three white lights, three red lights, and you're looking for the white lights. Then the entire roster of lifters, like who comes next is over there, and how you're doing against the other lifters are also over there. Then the judges and the DJ are on that table announcing everything and kind of like narrating everything that is going on. And the way we have it set up, we want to make sure we've got plenty of bathrooms. So we got all our bathrooms and our hand washing station in there, along with the bathrooms that we have inside. And on the inside of the gym, when we have competitions, we shut the whole gym down because it's all about the lifters that day. So you'll see uh, over here, we have the competition racks and these are the normal squat racks. So this is where you wanna like come and warm up and get your rack heights for both your squat and your bench. And these are really, really special because you can fine tune what your height is down to almost like half an inch increments. Look at that. It goes like 10, nine, eight, and look how tight these holes are. So you wanna come in here, get your rack heights, and then that way uh, you give it to the judges so by the time you go up, they have everything set for you. All you have to do is complete the lift. So you can really focus on performing. And uh, since we have so many lifters, we don't want the members getting in the way of the lifters warming up and all that. So we leave the whole gym open. Like literally this whole gym is open for all the lifters to come in here, get warm, stretch, do whatever they need to do to get in the zone. And then we'll have a roster of lifters posted so you can see what order people will be lifting in, or if you got a buddy, like are they in flight A or flight B, and you get to see like, and this is in squat, bench, and deadlift order. So you can kind of see how the whole meet's gonna play out. What are you guys looking at? Huh? Just make sure you good. Oh, are you guys ready? Are all of you guys competing? Yeah. Ooh, shit. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. And good luck. Up, what are you spraying, dude? Some air freshener, because you know. Oh, to keep smell, it fresh uh, in here? Nah, just the smell of the manures on the side. So. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we got the new plants, huh? Yeah, exactly. Hey, check it out, dude. We got renovations up in here, man. If you ever come down to Barber Brigade, take notice of our brand new landscaping. Oh, my God, it's You hard. see that? Hey, well, <laughs> <laughs> you coaching some people today? Yeah, I got four people today. Ooh, full day, you like dude. Like the shirts? Yeah, I like him, man. Kalkin Strong, baby, baby. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, dude. Wow. Kalkin's one of our members at Barbell, and he is freaking strong. And it's so cool to see his journey, because I believe he started powerlifting maybe over six, seven years ago. And when he came in, he was a young lifter, and I just saw him move like 400-something pounds on squats, and you're just like, whoa. He's moving it at an explosive speed that I've never really seen before. And since then, I believe he squatted over 600, probably deadlifted close to 700. So it's just cool to see like, in the sport of powerlifting, not only has powerlifting grown in terms of reaching the masses, but people's own personal journey, how much they've been able to maximize their own potential is so inspiring. So if you just parked your car, right? And you're coming on the street, you're gonna see this little tent right here in front of the gym. Tell me. What is this tent all about? What do you do here? We have people come in and okay. fill out waivers for the meet today. Okay. And then um, we go let them go in and then get the um, wrist wrap. And yeah. then it's gonna be the the lift up. So go in and get the wrist wrap and for the meet and get ready. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. So everyone has to check in right here? Absolutely. Okay. And then you'll walk in through here. So a handler is the person that is uh, handling you <laughs> for lifting. Coming through here, you go, hey, what's up, people? And then you stay right here and you go, bam! As you can see, gym floor is closed. Lifters plus handlers only. Hey, you lift with that chain, dude? Yeah. Really, is it good luck? Yeah, it's good luck. <laughs> well, mom got it for me, so I gotta wear it, you know? Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. He just has to bite it. He just it's, has to it's bite my it. Good luck just time, like, dude. I don't want to break my tooth, though. <laughs> yeah, after you, after you lift, you gotta bite yeah, it. I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna be like this in the corner. Damn. Yeah. You're, you're, you're missing maybe like 100 pounds of muscle. If I'm not <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that's fucked up. No, no, oh, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. <laughs> Ain't no man buns allowed, dude. Dude, what the? No, I'm just kidding, man. Yo, what's up, so, man? Are you competing or lifting or? I'm competing today. Oh, sick! Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. We watch your stuff all the time, man. Oh, thank you, I man. You. Where's Gio at? Ah, Gio's fucking being lazy. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. You guys are gonna be in Vegas. Yeah. Right? No, no, yeah, they're in Vegas. I'm, I'm here. Oh, okay. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Well, good luck today. Thank you, thank you. As I see people coming in, it is freaking cool to see how much powerlifting has grown. You know, like when I was competing back in like 2013, almost nine years ago, it was such an individualistic endeavor. Like I was lifting, right? And uh, like David So came, Joe came, Can came, a bunch of friends came um, to support me, but no one was lifting. No one's even in the know of powerlifting. And they came to support more as a, probably more as like a spectacle, like a JK person is lifting rather than for the sport or for the community. Over here, man, you got entire friends, squads competing together. They got the community. So that probably means they've been training really hard the last 12, 16 weeks together. You know, that's amazing. I just love seeing um, like the community aspect of powerlifting and how that aspect actually makes the individual aspect even stronger. And everyone's showing up today to see if they could be the strongest version of themselves. And that's the part that I'm like, man, like seeing someone who used to like even bench, like let's say 100 pounds. And if they could hit 120 on a given day, it's like, that's just as inspirational to me as someone that like squatted 900, you know, and then hit like, I don't know, 950 or 1000. Because the first person who is doing their first meet, training their butt off, probably in their mind, they didn't even think they can do that. You know, when the, the first moment you do a powerlifting meet and you shatter that like inner ceiling that you have in your head, it is an amazing, amazing experience. Because I remember at my first meet when I competed at 165, um, I've been chasing like a 500 pound deadlift for so long. And in the gym, I would hit like 455, 475, and I was so scared to try five plates because at that time no one did it. So that almost seemed like the 10 second barrier in the gym, you know, that whole 10 second thing. And so like, I was like, man, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? And so when I was at the meet, I was like, you know what? I trained my ass off for this. I'm gonna go for it. So I told them to load 501 because you can't load 500 on kilos. And when I hit it, I was like, Damn, I can't believe I did that. And once you have this feeling, you can apply it to anything else in life. And I'm just excited. So many people are going to be experiencing that today. Top left corner of the screen. Do not enter the platform. That is not you. That's not the way that you request. Well, that's Lord back there. He's the meat director. And he always does a really good job of briefing um, what's going to go down on meat day. So if you're a first time competitor and you're nervous, don't worry about it. If you come to our meets, we always have Lord as a meet director and he runs it through like so digestible that you feel comfortable and like, cool, I got this. All right, it's currently squats right now. Next up, we got someone by the name of Cheryl Sue. And up there, you got 60 seconds to complete the lift. So there's Cheryl. Let's go, Cheryl. You gotta wait for the squat command. Wow, nice and deep. There we go. Hell yeah. All right, three white lights. There we go, three white lights. That was right under 300 pounds. Wow. As they're lifting out there, 
the next flight is getting ready in here. So you'll see people warming up over here. People warming up over there. We got Asian Russ Swole warming up over here. Is, is Asian Russ Swole ready? Or? <laughs> Ready. He's ready. He is in the zone? Yeah, yeah he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. good. Alright, so I just saw you smash your squat. Was that your... Which attempt was that? Second. Second? And what did you hit? Uh, 303. 303? God damn! Hell yeah. And where'd you come from? Uh, San Francisco. When did you make it into LA? Uh, Friday night. Friday night? You're doing pretty good so far? Yeah. Are you hitting all the numbers you want? Yeah. What are you going for on your third? Uh, 314. Damn! Good luck. What's up, Max? What up? What do you like about powerlifting meets? I like the hype. I think it's cool that like everyone kind of comes together and it's like a lot of people that you don't see from like your gym or whatever and it's like a lot of the same people that you see all the time though. Yeah. Like online or whatever coming together to finally like showcase what they've been working on all year. So I think like the uh, powerlifting meet is like the ultimate like culmination of who you are as a lifter yeah uh, and it's really cool to see people who do what they're trying to, trying to hit or people that like kind of almost fuck up but want to go back and hit it harder like, there's a never-ending cycle of wanting to improve yourself so is your favorite lift then they get their first they fuck up their second and on the third they crush it is that like you like people going two out of three no no I like nine out of nine yeah yeah because uh, when we first started it was like as long as you got one out of the three. Like four out of nine is like a good meet, or yeah, five yeah. out of nine. Yeah. Um, but now like going nine for nine, because people used to talk shit about people that go nine for nine. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, you didn't leave it all on the table. But yeah. now the consensus is like That's going nine for nine is smart. Yeah. Uh, you have three lifts, so you went pretty much like good in all three, where people will go super heavy on squat, miss their third, and then fuck up on bench, only get their first, maybe get two deadlifts. Uh, but now going from 9 for 9, it's like, maybe they played it smart, but they had the biggest total. Yeah. So I see that your shirt says Guam. Did you and your whole team come from Guam? Yes. Wow, just to, just to compete here? Uh, yeah, well, I, so I had to do stuff for work and all lined up. So yeah, we ended up here. And Let me ask right. you a question. Yeah. So Guam's an island, right? Yes. So how do you get steroids on Guam then? You know, that's a really good question. It's a really good question, you right? You have to milk the caravals, bro. You know what? You have to milk the caravals. Oh, you have to mail it? Milk. You milk the steroids? The caravals. The caravals? Or the testosterone. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> Let's go, Cheryl! Born and raised in San Francisco and fell in love with the SoCal weather during our college years. Here we go. Uh, Nice, nice work. Is it Asian Russ Wolf's turn to warm up? It's his turn. Okay. Let's go, Asian Russ Wolf. Yeah, he looks serious, dude. He's gonna fucking crush it. Right? Lock the bar down. Pull it down as hard as you can. Let's go. Back, back. Big toe down. Lock your knees. What? Filipino Russell in the house. Damn. Oh yeah, he looks serious. Let's go, come on! How much weight was that? That was uh, 391. We're going to go 413 next. next. It's going so far for you. Fine. It's a little scary in the beginning. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you hit on your squats? Uh, 407 pounds. Uh, did you get all three attempts? No, that was my opener, bro. Oh, you only got your opener? Yeah. What happened, dude? Bro, death is... Huh? 
depth is strict today. Oh. But it's okay. We live and we learn. Yeah. You gotta milk milk the caribou a little bit more. I know. Not yeah. enough. Because if you milk the caribou, you just bought like 700. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude. Good luck with the rest of the meat. Thank you. So this is Lauren, he's the meat director. For all the people that um, are kind of scared to come eat but they want to, what kind of advice can you give them? Uh, so a lot of first timers always feel you're not strong, they're not strong enough to compete. Yeah. The sport of powerlifting, you're never ever ever strong enough. So just get on the platform, have a great time, enjoy the journey that all these lifters, thousands of lifters get. That is the key, is enjoying the journey, getting that first experience, because it will repurpose your entire goal of lifting. That's true, that's what happened to me. When was your first meet? Uh, 1990. Whoa! June that's of awesome. 1990. Yep. Wow, you're an OG, man. Yep. Hell yeah. So you can see everyone is starting to warm up for bench now because we're moving on to the bench portion of the meat. And at a powerlifting meet, you see how this guy's pausing? When you bench, you can't just bench on your own. You have to press when they tell you to command to press, and then you rack when they tell you to rack. Hey Justin, you know your butt cheeks are eating your pants? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you, you wore those on purpose? Nah, man. Gray, gray pants are the only way to have confidence. Those bro. are the juiciest butt cheeks I've ever seen. Slap it. It's like a rod. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheryl's back up. Got a packed house in here. She got 65 kilos. Let's go, Cheryl! Nice. I just did the math. 65 kilos is 143 pounds. Damn, player. All right, we got Victor here, one of our very own staff who also competed. How did you do? We did, we went nine for nine. Damn, that's what we're trying to do. Perfect meet, and then we got like a nice PR, like 10 pound PR on a deadlift, and then bench. Squat PR too, right? Squat PR, I did uh, 429. That was your third attempt? For my third attempt. Damn. And then for bench, I matched my, my PR. I did 297. Remember, remember I, don't know, I felt yeah. that in training. Oh, you did 297 in training? I did 297. Doing it in, in a training. meet is way different though, because under all the commands and stress and pressure. Commands, it's just for, like, I like to tell people sometimes, like, as soon as you got the bar, you know it's going up. Well, yeah. you said, but you said you failed it in training. I failed it in training. And you got it in training. Oh, exactly. damn, okay. Exactly. So it, better. It, it was like, Maybe maybe two three weeks out, I had to do like a heavy single. Yeah. Two ninety seven. So okay. What'd you, know, you get like, on the deadlift? Uh, That's your was, bread and butter, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was like five, easily five twenty something. Damn. I, I, I wanted to get five thirty, but I think five twenty two was a safe bet. Yeah, yeah. And also going nine for nine sets you up for the next meet. Yeah. So yeah, always yeah. like leaving a little bit in the tank is always good. I placed a second. And, and okay. The class with yeah, yeah. People, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah dude. It's a lot of fun. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna try and do another one. This year? Yeah. Next why year? Not? Why not? Yeah. The competitiveness, man. Like they were, they were calling me in the, at the at the beginning of my first squat because I was shaking. I was, I was like, yo. You were kind of nervous. Very nervous for my first attempt. They were like, try not to look so scared. Yeah. I didn't even know I looked like that. Yeah. And then um, they almost called me for softies. Because you're like, shaking so much? I was shaking. Were you shaking like a cartoon? Let me see. How were you shaking? Like this, dog. And then I was like this on the, on the way out. That's not that shaky. I think you could shake hard. Let me see, let me see your hardest knee shake. <laughs> She's done with her bench. How did you end up doing? Uh, two out of three. Two out of three. What happened on the third one? Uh, it's very good. Uh, <laughs> I saw you smoke the second one. That was really good. Would you? Uh, how much weight did you go on the third? Uh, 154. Oh, yeah. that's your new enemy, huh? Hey, you'll get it next time. Let's go, John! Son of the enemy powers. You got this. Oh, 
Being at one. Yeah, being at one, seeing one, anything. I haven't even looked one up on YouTube. I wanted to get like the raw feeling of being at one. It's and great. how do you like that feeling? It's freaking great. It's Yes, great? Yesterday was crazy. Today's even crazy. These guys are out here pushing real weight. It's like motivating because I'm for sure going to be at the next one. Oh, help you uh, compete at one? Yes, sir. Woo! Damn. All right, now is time for the most exciting part of the meet deadlifts. And this is so fun because you don't need... All right, now is the most exciting part of the meet, which is deadlifts, because everyone always goes ham. And I love seeing everyone warm up in here. Damn, we got a big weight on the bar, dude. Oh, oh damn. Is she about to hit 365? She's warming up with 365. Warming yeah. up, damn. That's incredible. Shirley over there, 335. Wow. That's badass. Alright, so I met this dude just a few days ago, and you told me your whole team from Guam came to powerlift. And yes, compete. sir. Right here's my team. Team Guam okay. right here behind okay. us. Yeah. That's so dope, man. How long have you guys been powerlifting for over there? Uh so powerlifting's been growing for the last five years. It's uh, like really scene, the scene's growing there. Yeah, it's huge now. Shout out to you though, man. What? The island of Guam, they look up to you. It's crazy. If you go to my oh. IG, they'll see all the comments. They're like, that guy's the reason why I started powerlifting. It's crazy, bro. It's so cool to see your team crushing it. Yeah, dude. Uh, one of our lifters right now is six for six. Yeah. Uh, despite my crazy me yesterday, it's all about the team. Yeah. Powerlifting's a I team sport. I still saw you like, benching like four, what, 460? It was 463, but I got Ooh. caught on it. It's cool though, it's cool. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're trying to go for 500? Yesterday, yes sir. Damn. How big are your arms, man? Uh, it's, it's probably like 19. Nah, they're gonna be like 20s, <laughs> dude. Maybe 20. Who's this 20. strong guy? That's my son, this little tone. Hey, 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 look at those. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, it's genetics, bro. It's genetics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. You got the good genetics, man. Hell yeah, no, well, welcome, dude. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, Appreciate okay. you guys for having us. Oh, yeah. 260. Oh, oh, everyone man. that gets a good lift on a deadlift, they actually earned a total. So she gets this up a little lift, she actually earns her total. Those errors on their next attempt. 
Professional, I found out this is your first meet. Yeah. So to all the people out there that are like, you know what, I really want to do a meet, yeah. but I'm kind of nervous. Like, what kind of advice do you have for them? Um, definitely do it. I mean, it's a fun experience. Yeah. So like, you come in here, you know, you train hard, so you might as well just come out and show it. Um, it helps to have a good uh, coach. Yeah. Coaching is super important because they help you on meet day two. Who, like, who's your coach? Your, Justin Kalkin. Oh, the guy with the nice yeah. butt cheeks. <laughs> Best in the game. Dude, so, he got the, the nicest butt cheeks in the game. Hey, look right at them. Look at oh, that. that's yeah, a good yeah, coach yeah. right there. That's yeah. a good coach. So I definitely I do these pants because I knew you'd be here. <laughs> so definitely do it. It's a fun experience. Yeah. It's just a good time. A lot of good people. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're going six for six so far, right? Yeah, six for six. Trying to go nine for nine and make everything nice and clean. So. That's incredible. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Man, it's so freaking cool to see everyone give it their all because after high school sports, it's really hard to see this level of competitiveness, right? And it's this type of competitiveness and community that really helps push you in not just the physical, but also spiritual way. Like I remember some of my, even though I, I was a pretty crappy wrestler in high school, but training every single day with a team, knowing that you have a competition the next week, and you're trying to do a really good and have like your sophomore year be better than your freshman year like that constant drive and having that camaraderie really like helped me improve as a wrestler from someone that had zero grappling experience to being able to grapple and i experienced the same thing in powerlifting like when we first created barbell brigade the gym that community where we would show up see the same faces and have the same goals and try to get after it and then also competing together and bringing the best out of each other. It, that feeling is, is so dope that I was like, man, I really wish we can continue this after high school. But after high school, generally, you know, unless you're playing a college sport, you don't really get to experience that. So it makes me so happy that we get to do this every year. Like not just have our gym, which is a facility where people can come in and get strong, but also to hold a competition where people from now all over the world, as you guys saw from the Bay Area to Guam, uh, I met some people from Houston, Texas, where they get to come down and put it all on the platform and showcase all the hard work that they did. And it also just shows like how small the world actually is. Like the strength community, doesn't matter where you're at, we can all connect and get stronger together. And that's freaking dope. Thank you guys for watching and enjoying all the amazing lifts that we saw today. Don't forget that we always have a meet every single year and the signups, it's going ham over there. The signups, they fill up really, really quick. So if you want to, go on the USPA site immediately and sign up because I wouldn't be surprised if it's filled up already. But don't forget to keep dominating humbly and we'll see you guys next year. Peace.